Johnny Valentine out here on another Gain Solar install with uh, with Practical Preppers and Scott Hunt. We did this job with him. Um, we've got Micro Hydro, uh, a little turbo turbine. This is a nice little creek. Got a turbo turbine in the um, creek, and it's it's making a little bit of power. We're we're fiddling with it, trying to get it to make more. Uh, we got a Midnight Classic with about uh, 1,400 watts of solar, six panels. It's it's pulling down. Uh, about 900 watts right now, and then we got a, a Magnum 4024 inverter making 120-240. This customer is uh, backing up their critical loads in their house, their fridges, their freezers, their well pump, keeping the lights on, keeping those critical appliances going. So you know this is not a whole house system, but it does give you enough power to stay comfortable and, and keep things going. We got the battery box again with the uh, Crown battery bank. This one's just a 24 volt, pretty pretty small, minimal battery bank. Still got an automatic watering kit on here, and we have a uh, nice little system here. These are Crown. They're 400 amp hour batteries, and um, we're real excited about it. We love these little systems. We're hard in the grid, one system at a time. So I just want to talk a little bit about uh, this mount for a second. This is a uh, little different than we usually do. Uh, sometimes a metal roof can be tricky because of uh, the way that purlins and, and rafters, you, you, you have some spaces and if you, you look up at a roof, you know, you got to really know how to attach to it. So this is a foot that can, this is what attaches to the roof and it can get you out of a bind if you're ever in a situation where you um, aren't sure but if you can hit every single rafter and you, but you can't hit the purlins. Uh, this is an easy foot and it has these uh, spack screws that are gasketed, it takes five screws it's got a real wide base. I mean, it's, it's, I'd say it's three times wider than a normal L foot. It's got the uh, butyl tape, butyl, I think that's butyl sealant that's on there already. And uh, so that would mount to the roof and it'd get these five screws. And then that's what's gonna round to, mount to your extrusion. So DPW easy foot. I, I, don't, I don't say use them every single time, but you know, when you have a situation where you need it and it's the right tool for the job, uh, I'll usually throw an extra one of these in there. Uh, if more than a little more than I would if I was just going to be hitting rafters, but this is a good foot. So just want to do a little video on the DPW Easy Foot. We sell these through the website. We can help you figure out how many you need. So we're here at another Magnum installation, and um, uh, this is a really good time for me to be able to show you what the electrical work on the AC side looks like. In case you're thinking about buying one of these and doing the electrical work yourself, we get a lot of customers that do their own electrical work. That's legal in the state of Georgia as long as you do it to code. And um, so this customer, you can see he had his two sub panels. He kind of had a uh, split 200 amp service. And then here is his sub panel. So you can see the spaces and what he did. He, he moved the circuits uh, that were in the regular panel into this new dedicated load sub panel that he has mounted that the Magnum is serving. So now this is just like a generator sub panel, uh, very similar to the way it goes in except the transfer switch, the automatic transfer switch is inside the Magnum so you don't have to get the big automatic transfer switch. We're actually feeding this thing with a generator as well so the power from the grid or the AC charging sources are coming from this double pole 30 amp breaker in the grid going into one side of this transfer switch and then into the other side of the transfer switch where uh, we've got a generator plug outside so he can select where he wants to feed power uh, in and out of the sub panel. So if he gets low and the solar's not cutting it, he can cut on, he could go down into the generator mode and turn the generator on and charge up the battery and power this panel from the generator. He can also, uh, this thing will automatically disconnect from the battery and start using grid power to power this panel and um, charge up the battery if the solar's not cutting it. So, you know, he's got an inverter charger, he's got uh, dual redundant, triple redundancy as far as power inputs to his dedicated panel. He can put power in here from the grid, from the generator, or from the solar. And um, he's also generator ready, so you know if he ever wants to take this off and sell this house, he's already got a generator sub panel and a place where you can plug a generator in. So it's, it's value added, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's off grid solar, it's not grid tied, but it's still got the functions in the Magnum that enable it to shed load when the batteries are fully charged. And um, then we got our standard uh, way we do our battery box. And you know, you better believe she's gonna bring down that power when the grid goes down. 